I'm Grant Morrison, I come from Scotland and I write comic books mostly. When I worked on Superman, I told the story of Superman being poisoned by solar radiation, so he's got 12 months to live. And what would Superman do as he's dying? You know, it's how does he decide what, what legacy does he want to leave? How does he save the world? And, and that's what I've always done, get into the heart of these characters, see what makes them tick, and then make them fly in a slightly different direction. Well, now it is a science fiction story, so it's about a screenwriter who's kind of on his last chance. He's done a couple of successful movies a few years ago, but he's blown the money on drink and drugs and women. So he's, he's given the opportunity to create a tentpole movie for a studio, and the movie's called Annihilator. Our screenwriter suddenly learns that not only does he have a, an approaching deadline, he's diagnosed with a malignant death-dealing brain tumour. Even stranger as the character from the story he's writing turns up at his door and says, no, it's not a brain tumour, what it is is my life story, which I've fired into your head from another universe. So now you have to tell me my life story so that I know why the hell I'm here. And if you don't tell me my life story, the universe dies in seven days. So it's about these two kind of mismatched guys. One thinks, you, what, well, you're a character? And the other goes, no, I'm the real deal, you're... You're something that I've created. And it's the two of them go on the run, being pursued by forces, not only cops and, and forces from our world, but forces from a much higher world, almost angelic powers with uh, immense abilities. So the, the, the two men are basically having a buddy comedy while the universe falls apart around about them. It's been great fun to, to work with Legendary. It's been the ideal home for this story. And Honestly, it's one of my, I think it's one of the best things I've ever done, and certainly my artist, Fraser Irving, is turning out the, what I would call the best work of his career. I mean, very beautiful, photorealistic kind of work, but with its own personality. It's his life and death, and he has to really do the greatest script he's ever written, or else he's doomed.